B'nai Yisrael's redemption from Mitzrayim, from Egypt, from Paroi, from the land of Mitzrayim, is the source and the foundation of all future redemptions. And it's the foundation upon which we were able to come and inherit Eretz Yisrael and accept the Torah and live as the nation, the people of Hashem. And therefore, we mention Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim throughout the day in our tefillahs, in the tefillah shachris, that we mention that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim, Shoytzosanu mi Eretz Mitzrayim, umi beit avadim. And we mention in Birkat Amazon, similarly, the same thanks to Hashem, that He took us out of Eretz Mitzrayim from the land of slaves. And it appears to be a redundancy in the Loshan, in the language of this thanks, that this praise, of this praise that we give to Hashem, that He took us out of Eretz Mitzrayim, umi Beit Avadim. What is the difference between Eretz Mitzrayim and Beit Avadim? And the God of Pesach, we say, Lafichach, therefore, Therefore, we have to give thanks and praise to the Shem, to the Ribbon Shalom, that He took us out of Eretz Mitzrayim. Also, what appears to be a redundancy, a kefal haloshan, a repetition, Eretz Mitzrayim taking us out of Egypt and taking us out of the land of slaves. What is underlying this apparent double expression, this repetition and the expression of the praise of the thanks that we give to Hashem for taking us out of Mitzrayim? In the Haggadah of Pesach we also mention that therefore we have to give praise to the Shem al gulatenu va'al pedut nafshenu. We thank Hashem for gulatenu and Padut Nafshenu. What is Geula? What is Gula Tainu? And what is Padut Nafshenu? <laughs> Perhaps we can explain it as follows. We thank Hashem. We praise the Ribbonu Shalom for Gulatainu, for taking us out of the physical bondage of Mitzrayim. We were slaves in Mitzrayim. We had hard, back-breaking work. Paro in Mitzrayim, they forced us into slavery, bondage. And they killed our children. They threw them into the Nile. We thank Hashem for freeing us, for freeing the Guf, the physical redemption. But we also thank Hashem for Pedut Nafshenu, for the spiritual freedom that we attained, that we were set free from the spiritual oppression, the bondage of Paran Mitzrayim. The redemption from Mitzrayim was a two-phase process. First, we were taken out of Mitzrayim, and we attained physical freedom. We were no longer slaves, 
we were no longer subjugated to Paro and the back-breaking work and the bondage of Mitzrayim. But we still had the nefesh, we still had the soul of slaves. Then at Kriyat Yamsuf, when we saw the great miracle of the splitting of the sea, and Paro and his great might and his soldiers and his chariots, they all drowned and we crossed in safety and we inherited their wealth and we saw the Yad Hashem that Paro in his great might with all his army and his wealth was like nothing in the hands of the might of Hashem and we were chosen to be Hashem's people. That broke the spiritual bondage that we still had and we became free in the full sense. We became free as free people and we became free as the nation of Hashem from which we went on to accept the Torah, to come into Eretz Yisrael and to live as the Am of Hashem. And for that we thank Hashem, for the twofold, for the twofold redemption, for the redemption from the physical bondage and for the spiritual freedom that we attained and the great merit to become the chosen people of Hashem, to live the Torah life and a life of spirituality and Kedusha and Tahara. And that's why we mention the Haggadah. Ilu lo hotsi Hashem otanu mi Mitzrayim. Harei anu uvaneinu uvnei vaneinu mishu abadim hayinu leparo be Mitzrayim. If Hashem had not taken us out of Mitzrayim, we would be slaves. Not only us, but our children, and our all of our des and all of our descendants, we would have been slaves to Paro Mitzrayim. And this begs the question that what would give rise to think that we would be slaves to Mitzrayim after all of these generations. All of the ancient, all of the, all of the nations of antiquity have long perished. And why would we assume that we would still be slaves? None of the nations have endured forever. The only nation that still remains is B'nai Israel. Why would we think that we would still be slaves to Paran and Mitzrayim if we had not been taken out of Mitzrayim at that time? And perhaps the answer is, is that we would not be slaves in the physical sense, but in the spiritual sense we would have maintained the souls of slaves of Avadim and not free people and not the Am Hashem. And we thank Hashem for setting us free and if Hashem had not set us free on our own, we would not be capable of becoming B'nai Chorin, free people in the true, full sense. And that's the double loss that we mention every day, throughout the day, that we thank Hashem for setting us free and we thank Hashem for our spiritual freedom as well. And today we live in Eretz Israel in a freedom not known by our fathers and forefathers throughout the length of this long Golos and we thank Hashem for our physical freedom and we pray and hope for the day when we will again have the full freedom of Golatenu Pedut Nafshenu that Hashem will send the full redemption and we will all be able to live a Torah life not influenced and not subjugated to the culture of the world at large, not subjugated to all of the decadence that surrounds us and that permeates our homes and all of our dwellings 
that we will be able one day to live as the Am Hashem with the coming of the Mashiach in Eretz Yisrael with Kedusha and Tahara Bevi Esgol Bimher Amen. Amen.